guys, it's Laura here, and I'm so excited because today I am going to show you how to make some mini sorting hats. So if you're having a Harry Potter party, you are going to have the cutest little goodies to have on the table that will sort your guests into houses. So I actually have a sorting hat here. Probably should put it on. And it's going to say, you are a, hmm, you are kind and creative and loving and you really want to know what house I'm in, don't you? Well, the secret to my house is in this goodie bag and you can't find out till the end of this video. So watch how I make the sorting hat and you will see what house I am in. All right, let's make a little sorting hat so that you can see how easy it is to do it for your party guests. Right here I have some felt from Coonan Group. Um, I have a couple of different shades of their cashmere and their browns and that's what I'm going to use for the base of my hat. I also have some twine and then some silk ribbon and my favorite crafting glue for fabric and felt which is Beacon's Fabri-Tac. So that's what we're going to be using. That's really all you need to make this and then your different colors of M&Ms to put inside for your house reveals. So let's start by making the top part here of the hat. This is a half of a piece of standard felt, which is a nine by 12. So this is gonna be a six by, or what, nine by six, right. And we're just gonna fold that in half and cut it right down the middle like this to get two pieces like that. And then I'm gonna cut a triangle out of it to get the top of my hat, both sides of the top of my hat. Um, there is a pattern on the blog if you like patterns. I tend to just wing it, so um, that's what I'm doing here. But you can go get a pattern. This glue is awesome because it dries pretty quickly. So if you're doing this as a party craft, you would want to use something that's going to have that quick dry time. You can also use Beacon's um, felt glue. It just takes it a while to dry and it doesn't work as well if you're like in a hurry or if you're wanting it to dry fast. This is like the gooeyest glue, but it works so great. So I'm just gonna put it up the two sides like this. Oh, I have one big goo ball there. Let me pull that off there. And then I'm going to um, glue my two pieces together. And while those are drying, I'm gonna put the lid back on tightly, turn it upside down here. I just put it upside down in a coffee mug so that the glue comes out quicker when it's time to use it. And I'm gonna use this darker color to cut some little patches. Cause like on the sorting hat that I showed you earlier, it has little patches in it. So I thought that'd be a fun way to make it more of a replicate of the real sorting hat. So I'm gonna cut a couple of little squares here. And then from the squares, I'm going to cut off their corners. So it's almost like we're making like a little um, hashtag, <laughs> but really we're making little patches. So I'm cutting those off. And then in each of the little areas that's left, I'm going to cut out a little piece, just like a little triangle, or you can cut a little rectangle out, however you want to do that. You see, I'm just cutting out like a little piece like that. And I'm going to do that on all the sides. And it does kind of look like a little um, pound sign or a little hashtag, but just gonna make a little patch. You could use these little pieces too if you wanted to stick those on because it just kind of makes it look a little messier or a little more like the much greatly used sorting hat in the Harry Potter books and movies. I mean, the sorting hat does get used at the beginning of every year so that every single student who goes to Hogwarts gets sorted into their house where they're gonna live for all those years. Um, and I bet you're wondering what my house is. You're going to find out at the end of this video. If you just keep watching, you'll know what I am. All right, so now I've got my little patches there, and I'm going to glue those to my hat. So I'm just going to put them both on the front side, but you could do as many of them as you wanted. So I'm just going to put a couple little blobs of glue. And while I have the glue out, I'm going to go ahead and just add um, another one right here. And I'll show you why in just a second. So I'm going to put the glue away, and then I'm going to stick my little patches on to my sorting hat, so cute. And then I'm just gonna cut a little piece of this silk ribbon, just because it gives it a little bit more personality, I think. You could use fabric scraps, you could use burlap, you could use anything that's kind of brown. Um, so I'm gonna add that right there. So this is all still drying. I'm gonna get my scraps out of the way, and I'm gonna cut the bottom of my hat. So to cut the bottom of my hat, I'm gonna use this corduroy um, felt, but you could use any felt. 
And I'm just gonna wanna cut like a wobbly circle. I don't even know if that's really a thing, but you know what I mean. Or and if you don't, you can just watch. So I'm gonna kinda cut a circle, but make it um, have some like little grooves around the edges. I call that a wobbly circle. At least I just called it a wobbly circle. It's the first time I've ever used that term. But now, wobbly, wobbly circle is a thing. So there's my bottom of my sorting hat. And then I'm gonna wanna put glue on two different sides of it. So I'm gonna leave it open most of the way around, but I'm gonna put like a chunk of glue right there, or a glob, or a ball, or a whatever, and one on this side. And then I'm gonna put, um, actually I'm gonna go while I have the glue out, I'm gonna do a little, a couple little spots too, because I'm gonna add a few more little pieces of this um, silk ribbon, just to give it some more character. So I'm gonna put those on the little pieces there. Get rid of that. And then our hat should be dry enough around the edges now, which it is, to open up. And we're gonna glue it down to those two dots, like that. And then we're gonna add the last piece, which is a piece of twine, just tied loosely around the hat, like this, to give it a little more character. Then we kind of need to leave that and let it dry. And when it's completely dry, then it will be dry, it'll be sealed on the two sides, and you can put inside whatever color M&Ms you need. So if you were a Slytherin, you'd be getting green M&Ms in your, in your sorting hat, and it would be ready for you to place down at your party seat. So that's how easy it is. This glue is the Fabri-Tac from Beacon. The felt is Kunin felt. It is just um, their regular classic felt and then the corduroy felt. Um, you don't need to use the really thick, great stuff for this. You can use just the crafting felt. And that is how easy it is. So I bet you wanna know what house I'm in. Let's find that out now. <laughs> okay, so it's like magical, right? It's like a magical little Harry Potter hat. And the reveal of what house I'm in is in the M&Ms inside. So it's not green, which means I'm not Slytherin. And it's not red, which means I'm not a Gryffindor. And it's not blue, so I'm not a Ravenclaw. I am a Hufflepuff. Yep, I'm a proud Hufflepuff. And um, what a really cute way to Celebrate your house, right? And have a really cute little thing for a party. Okay, so another really fun thing on the blog, you can go there and you can get the um, pattern to make this sorting hat, but you can also get this really cute printable that's got little wizard cards. There are lots of Harry Potter printables on my blog. Games, puzzles, um, word searches, patterns. But I really love this one because it has my favorite saying, Dumbledore says this, um, and he's referring to Neville Longbottom when he says, it takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to our enemies, but just as much to stand up to our friends. And I wholeheartedly believe that. Sometimes taking a stand um, is uncomfortable, but necessary. And Neville Longbottom did that. So anyway, let's wrap this video up with a reminder to ring the bell so that you get notifications when I have new videos and to like this post and to comment and let me know what house you're in. I wanna find my, um, my, ha my Hogwarts school of witchcraft and, and wizardry um, Hufflepuff roommates. And I also wanna know, I kinda wanna know who's in Slytherin. And I wanna know if, well, I just wanna know what house you're in. So comment, let me know what house you're in and happy all things magical.